I want to encourage you to make a commitment to try and reflect who Jesus is to the people around us. And I want to give you a couple tips on how to do that. First, walk in the Spirit and be open to what God wants to do. The problem for many of us is we're so busy getting from point A to point B, trying to keep up with our calendars and our plans, that we're actually not even available to the things that God wants to do. So often, opportunities to reflect Jesus are on the periphery of what we actually think we're trying to do. So you want to be first, you want to be available. Second, we want to make sure that we are walking in the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. That's from Galatians 5, 22 and 23. You will be reflecting Jesus to people when your life is full of the fruit that is born by His Spirit. And so you're really never gonna reflect Jesus if you're not loving, if you're not peaceful, if you're impatient, if you're not kind, and all that other stuff. So that's super important. Third, Make sure you tell people about Jesus. You don't have to be weird or overbearing about it, but you know, um, there's an old saying that we should preach the gospel always and when necessary, use words. And I think we should preach the gospel always and we should use words. Does that make sense? But people should know that we're Christians by the love that we have even before we tell them why we have that love. And they'd be like, oh, that makes sense. And so don't be ashamed to use words to tell people about Jesus because faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the Word of God. So listen, let's be people who reflect Jesus into the world. God bless you.